Hi, it's Paul Morner from Production Expert. In this video, I'll be demonstrating three different ways to apply reverb in Pro Tools. In the examples, I'll be using Liquid Sonics reverbs because these are some of my favorites, but the overall method of application will be the same, whichever reverb you use. Let's start out with the first example. Here's some voiceover. Drawing on latest research and development. So one method of application, very simple, is use the inserts. Now, if these are not shown, if I just hide these for a second, you can go to here, show the inserts. There are up to 10 in Pro Tools, but I'll just show the first five. And then we can apply the reverb directly on the insert. So we click on this one. We have a list of plugins. You can show them either by category or by manufacturer. So for example, if I were to go down to Liquid Sonics, I could see all the ones I currently have installed, which at the moment is Cinematic Rooms and Seventh Heaven. So I'm going to use Cinematic Rooms for this. Let's try the mono to stereo version. The voiceover is mono, but we want a stereo reverb. Now, initially, when you instantiate a reverb directly on a track, you'll get 100% reverb. Drawing on latest research and development, our team can work with you to Now, if that's what you want, that's fine, but probably you'll want to adjust the wet dry balance. On 100% wet, it's pure reverb. On the other end of the scale, dry, it's no reverb and just the voice. So we can choose how much we apply with this control. Develop intelligent software on a single platform designed to last the full life cycle of your system. And of course, I could go through the presets and choose something different. Let's say I wanted this one called Dusky Hall. Drawing on latest research and development, our team can work with you to develop intelligent software on a single platform. This method of applying reverb is convenient because you just put the reverb on the track, you adjust the balance, you choose a preset, and it's done. However, you can't share that reverb with other sounds on other tracks, which is where the next method of application comes in. So here I have the sound of a door knocker followed by a wooden door opening. So the second method of application, we need to show the sends, going to go to here show the first lot of sends, A to E. And perhaps the most convenient way of doing this, I'm going to use send A, is to click on it. Rather than sending it down a bus or to an existing track, we're going to go new track, choose stereo aux input and call it reverb. And then on that reverb aux track, we'll go into the multi-channel plugins, Liquid Sonics. This time I'm going to choose seventh heaven. You know what, let's choose seventh heaven professional. And the good thing about this way of applying reverb is that you've got complete control over the wet-dry balance with the send, and what's more, you can apply multiple sends across multiple tracks and adjust how much reverb is sent from any given track. So for example, on this first one, I might want that much reverb, and on the track where the door actually opens, I also want to apply the same reverb. So one way I could do this would be to copy the send. If I hold down the Option key, Alt, uh, drag it, then we've got our own send here. One thing to be aware of when you're adjusting these sends is that you've actually got the right one open. So for example, whichever one is highlighted is the one that you have open. It's quite easy to inadvertently adjust the wrong one. So make sure you have the correct one open. Now we're going to uh, apply the reverb for this door opening sound. And just for some variety, I'm going to apply a bit more. But we could adjust this and have way less reverb like this. Now let's see how these sound with the reverb applied. A very rich sounding reverb there. Seventh Heaven is a very accurate simulation of the Bricasti M7 hardware reverb. And even if you just stick to the presets, they're absolutely excellent. Here's one in the Halls 1 category, the very first one, Large Hall. Sounds good. Let's take a look at the third method of applying reverb. And incidentally, all of these three sounds are from Boom Library, if you're interested. Okay, so we've got a growling creature and we want it to sound more like it's in a cave or a cavern. So I'm gonna click on this, go to the audio suite menu, and these are all non-real-time versions of the plugins. So I'm gonna once again go to Cinematic Rooms Professional. And the thing with audio suite is that you apply it and you render it. This method of applying reverb has both pros and cons. The pros would be that you don't use up any CPU power beyond the initial render, and then it just runs as a new audio file. In terms of cons, it takes away some versatility later. If you want to retrospectively go in and adjust the reverb, you'd have to essentially revert back to the dry sound and do it from scratch. So I'm going to go into the presets, maybe something from the halls category actually, but we'll choose something a little bit different, stone hall. And let's set the wet dry balance to roughly the middle. 
preview this with this little speaker icon here. That's good, but perhaps I want a little bit more reverb and I'd like a longer reverb time and perhaps an even bigger pre-delay just to give the impression that we're in a slightly bigger room. And you know what? Let's also increase the size setting. I like it. I like it. Render this. And now we can move this out of the way. You can actually close this. In fact, I will do that. And we've got the result rendered into a brand new audio file on the timeline. It's not taking up any CPU power because we're not running any real time plugins. Here it is. Sounds really good. So that's three ways of applying reverbs, in this case using Liquid Sonics Reverb in Pro Tools. For more information on the reverbs used in this video, visit liquidsonics.com. Thanks for watching.